we have learned a lot of things. We have learned how to drive a car, how to use a computer, how to manage finances and many other things. But how many have learned how to manage our own mind? Learning to manage and control the mind, it is one of the most important things we need to learn. Kids need to learn because the mind controls everything in our life. And yes, we can control our mind. A lot of people think that we can't, but it is possible. We all have this ability. And let me give you an example. Have you ever heard of someone shouting at their boss? I haven't. No matter how much the boss annoys a person, the person controls herself because the conscious mind says, shut up, keep calm, say nothing, because if you will say something, then you are going to lose the job. So the person says nothing. Why this example? Because I wanted to show you that we can control our mind. Hey everyone, today I want to talk with you about the mind. Understanding the mind, it is very, very important. But before to dive in, in explaining the basic of how our mind works, I would like to ask you some questions. Why is that some people are widely successful in their lives while others tend to constantly struggle? Why is that some people live life in fear while others live life in possibilities. Why is that some people are very confident while others shy away from people, from new experiences, almost afraid of life? Have you ever asked yourself these questions? I did. And the answer, it is because of their belief system. It's about how they choose to see themselves in their world and what they believe it is possible for their lives. And in this video, we will talk about how the mind works. Understanding how the mind works is the secret behind why some people live happy, fulfilling lives, a life of their dreams, while others seem to struggle, never quite achieving the life that they imagine, that they dream of. Also, we are going to talk about beliefs, how powerful beliefs are, how beliefs create our world. In my confidential program, children learn the same things that I will share with you, but they learn these things in, um, in an easier and fun way, which is through stories and uh, activities. The things that I will share with you are the same things that I have learned from the wonderful program where I became a wisdom coach for kids. And the program, it is called Adventure in Wisdom. Now, so let's begin talking about the mind. Did you know that our mind has two parts? Our conscious and our subconscious mind. Our conscious mind is the thinking mind. The conscious mind is where we do all of our thinking. It is the part of the mind that we are aware of. So when we say two plus two equal four, or we tell someone about the book we read, we are using our conscious mind. The subconscious mind is the part of the mind that we are not aware of. The subconscious mind is like a giant filling cabinet that stores our memories, uh, the skills that we have learned, life experiences and belief system. As an analogy, think of our mind being like an airplane. Just like an airplane takes us where we want to go on vacation, our mind takes us where we want to go in life. With an airplane, the pilot and the autopilot controls the plane. The pilot is the human that controls the plane by thinking. The autopilot is the computer that controls the plane based on the program that is running. With our brain, both conscious and subconscious mind control us. Our conscious mind acts like our pilot. We think and we make decisions. Our subconscious mind acts like our autopilot, impacting what we think and what we feel based on the program that is running. And we will talk about programs in a minute. Now, if we were a, a pilot of a real plane, we can turn off the autopilot and be in control of the airplane. 
However, that is not the case with our mind. We cannot turn off our autopilot. It is always on, even when we are sleeping. If our pilot thinking and our autopilot programs are working together, then we can fly uh, and go wherever we want to go in life. The problem comes when our pilot thinking and our uh, autopilot programs are different. If your pilot thinking is telling you to fly and the autopilot programs is telling you to crash, then you are in big trouble because the autopilot, the subconscious mind, it is stronger than the conscious mind. For example, if you are thinking, oh, I want to apply for uh, the promotion or I want to change my job, but you have programmed the subconscious mind to think and act and feel and behave with um, fear and uh, not do the things that you will want, then the subconscious mind will stop you. So it is critical that we understand what our pilot or our conscious mind is thinking and what type of programs our autopilot or subconscious mind is running. And these programs are called belief system. Belief system are what we think about ourselves, our world and how everything works. Belief system are the programs in our mind. Belief system are what we think is right or wrong, true or false about life. Our belief system are composed of thousands of beliefs about every area in our life, such as um, school, sport, uh, family, friends, money, health, religion, culture, food, children, and so on. Examples of beliefs are, I am smart, people like me. I'm too old to start a business. I'm too old to go back to, to school. Our beliefs directly impact how we feel about ourselves, our self-esteem, and what we can accomplish in our life, the self-confidence. Probably you have noticed that there are two types of beliefs, programs running in our mind. We have supportive beliefs and limiting beliefs. Supportive beliefs support us feeling good, uh, support us in achieving what we want. Examples of supportive beliefs include, um, I am smart, I can do anything I set my mind to, uh, I don't let fear to stop me. Supportive beliefs, as you can see, helps us to feel good about ourselves, helps us to take action and achieve our goals. Limiting beliefs limit us. Limiting beliefs can hold us back and keep us away from the things that we want. Again, examples of limiting uh, beliefs include, I'm not very smart, I don't think I can, I'm too old to go back to school. Limiting beliefs, as you can see, makes us feel down about ourselves and it keeps us from achieving our goals. Limiting beliefs, it keeps us stuck in our comfort zone. The good news is that we can choose our beliefs. We can take our knowledge of how our mind works and program our mind with supportive beliefs, with uh, beliefs that are going to help us. And to do that, you need two things. First of all, you need to recognize the limiting beliefs that you have. And second, shift those limiting beliefs. And the second way that you can uh, create more um, supportive beliefs is to create them intentionally. And to do that, you need to do two things. First, you need to recognize the limiting beliefs that you have and then power shift your limiting beliefs, change them. And the second thing that you can do is to create intentionally supportive beliefs. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope this was helpful and I will see you next time. Bye.